What's up guys, just woke up, um, charged a liter of water, went to the bathroom, and uh, can't wait myself right now, the scale's not, um, is dead, I need new batteries for the, the old scale, new scale's working, but I don't feel like messing with that for a few minutes, I want to just hop on the carding machine and do my thing and get ready to go, so, let's go get it. We about to get this cardio! <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast, get my lunch prepared, and I'll see you guys later today. Peace. What's up guys? Uh, I'm at the gym right now, parked outside. About to go work out. I'm not feeling too good. My stomach's not, it's been acting funny. Um, I don't think I'm sick. I just I think I ate something wrong that wasn't very good. Um, yeah, but we're gonna get it done anyways. You know, we gotta get this gym run session in. You know, if I'm set back one day, it screws up the whole week, so. You know, got to tough it up and, and work out. And, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, get, trying to get ahead on these videos, man. I'm, like, I'm like right there. I'm almost caught. I have one more video to do, and I'm caught up. So I'm trying to get that out for you guys. Sorry for the delay between my videos. You know, I'm trying my best, guys. It's just I have such a busy schedule that, you know, there's only so many hours in the day that I could, I could edit, you know what I mean? So it becomes really hard to try to do all that stuff. So anyways, guys, um, I'm going to get this workout in and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Just got back from the gym. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm not really feeling too great right now. Um, during my gym session, I had to go to the bathroom like four times and uh, I don't need to get into too much detail, but I went to the restaurant multiple times. Something I ate was spoiled and it didn't. It didn't, I mean, something, it had a weird taste to it, but it didn't taste bad to me, but, yeah, something I ate was, was spoiled, and it made me feel really, really sick, and then I felt like filling up during my workout, my whole workout, about, well, like a quarter of the way through, I started feeling like I needed to throw up, I kept it down, though, um, still got through the workout, you know, my wrist is still sprained, and uh, it's feeling a little bit better, I can move it around a little bit now, um, but, you know, it's, all in all, it's still a good workout. I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys out there that like to complain about, ah, oh, I'm not feeling it. It's not really a really great workout today. You know, I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I only got a few hours of sleep. You know what I mean? And I felt sick. I have to have to go to the bathroom. Felt like throwing up. And I still had a bomb workout. So I don't have bad workouts. I give it my all and I have a great workout every time. So I'll, you guys out there that complain about having a bad workout, that's that's an excuse. <laughs> that's what it is. It's an excuse for your lack of performance. And that shouldn't be an excuse. Yeah, you might not do the best one day than another day, but you should never have a bad workout. You should always have a good workout. Always. Never, never have a bad workout. Just because you bench 225 10 times and one day you did it nine times, eight times, doesn't mean it was a bad workout. It just means you're a little tired. That's it. You know, you still give it 100%. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'm about to eat right now. Got 10 ounces of chicken. Uh, got a little leftover food from earlier today because I wasn't able to finish it all. I don't know what it was, man. It just was messing my stomach. Anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna finish this up, and then uh, I also had a, a cup of uh, it was like mocha iced coffee. Um, I don't know what brand it was, but my my dad got it, and I don't know. I was having a little bit of sweet tooth. I drank a cup of that. It tastes good, so I, I drank that. And um, you know, like usual, my last meal is cottage cheese. You'll see that later. I'm gonna do some editing right now after this, and uh, I'll see you guys later. What's going on, YouTube? You know who it is. Your boy just came back from the grave. Sorry I had to take a few days off of filming. I just I was trying to dial in on some stuff, uh, trying to study for a test, and uh, so I just, just decided to put the camera down for a few days and focus on that. Uh, but it is Friday, Friday morning. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Woke up about 30 minutes ago, um, no, 20 minutes ago. Uh, I'm about to do fasted cardio right now. Um, and uh, I'm excited for today because, well, last night I was supposed to see the new Fast and Furious, but I didn't because it was, it was a change of plans. A lot of friends weren't able to make it, so we're doing it tonight instead. And yesterday there was supposed to be a car meet, though. I wanted to check out all the cool cars. There might be one today, too. We'll see, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for that. So we're going to train back and bodies today. Um, got some major bedhead going on right now. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so let's go do this weight check real quick, see where I'm at, and uh, get this day started. All right, it says I'm 351.6. So that, that is a new low, my friends, a new low. Um, I haven't really changed too much this week. My diet's still the same. Still having roughly around 4,800 uh, calories. Sometimes I have 100 calories less, but hardly ever. 
Um, still doing the three cardio sessions a week, 20 minutes. Um, change intensity though, so five intensity for the first half usually, and then I change it to eight for the last half. Um, and then my workout hasn't really changed besides obviously me adding the extra workout session, which started last week. Um, but yeah, it says, it says I changed a lot of about a pound. A little bit slower because last week it seemed I didn't lose anything. And this week, usually Fridays, like you guys know, are usually my lowest weigh-ins for some reason. And that says I've lost only one pound. So if that's the case, I mean, it is progress and I'm, I'm happy for it. But uh, I think it needs to be just a little bit faster. And um, yesterday I got to talk to someone uh, pretty big in the bodybuilding industry. I got to talk to Jeremy for a bit. And uh, first time meeting him, actually. Really cool guy. Very down-to-earth dude. And... Uh, uh, we chopped it up for a few minutes and uh, got to got to talk about some things. And uh, uh, he mentioned that I should probably add five cardio sessions in my week. And uh, I agree with him. I was going to do that eventually. I've been just kind of like slowly trying to work into it. So I think I might just go cold circuit. I might just, just add five cardio sessions next week for sure. Um, I don't know if I can do five fasted cardio sessions. That might be a lot for me because it's so hard to get enough sleep during the during the night. Um, I feel like I'd be too exhausted, too drained. So I might be doing the three cardio sessions in the morning fasted like I usually do. And I might add like two extra like post-workout on like days that are shorter or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, I'm going to drink some water right now. Get some uh, some carnitine in my body, some aminos. And I'm going to do fasted cardio. I'll see you guys later. All right, getting some laundry done while I'm doing cardio. Two birds with one stone. Let's get that cardio down. All right, on the cardio machine, about to start my cardio. If any of you guys have anything that, any cardio machine that you guys need to get rid of, like a bicycle or a treadmill or electrical, let me know. I'd be happy to take it. I don't think this one's going to last me too much longer. I don't know, just it's a little sketchy. I don't know. I feel like it's going to break soon. I'm a heavy dude. I'm not 120 pounds, so I feel like it's just not one of those heavy-duty ones. But uh, anyways, let's get it. Let's put on some jams. Get this shit popping. This one's a good one. This one just came out. Yeah, buddy. Let's get it. Yeah. That's a cardio session right there. Woo! Sweating like a mofo. Um, oh, the last 10 minutes I actually changed intensity to 10 this time. And I actually started at 8. So, big difference. Let's, uh, let's make some breakfast and get this day started. Alright guys, just got done with breakfast. Sorry I wasn't able to show you me cooking it. My brother Zach was telling me all about the cool stuff he did at his buddy's house for spring break. So uh, I was distracted listening to him. But here's my breakfast. I got uh, two servings of cream wheat, which is uh, six tablespoons. Put it in the microwave and microwaved it up. And then put uh, three-fourths of a cup of milk in there, whole milk. And then uh, my honey that I put in there. Um, I have a cup of basmati rice. Two of the polar sausages, four whole eggs, like usual. And I put uh, two tablespoons of hummus that my dad made yesterday. Uh, that homemade stuff, bro. None of that, none of that fake stuff. That real, real Jordanian hummus. And uh, it tastes bomb. I don't know the calories. I can't tell you. I know it's pretty calorically dense with all the, the tahini and olive oil and stuff we put in there. So I just put a couple small tablespoons and it's probably roughly around 100 calories, 150 calories for just those tablespoons. So I'm going to just like estimate that in my in my calories for the day. And I'm going to scarf this down. I might have some beans too and then uh, get ready for the gym. So let me eat this real quick and I'll see you guys later. Huh? I got the clone version. We're not sponsored Smell guys. It. No promo code. Smell it. It's all right, dude. That's all more. That's more for working out in the gym, not like going out with the ladies. <sighs> show them, show them, show them the muscle you gained in the last few days. It's actually been almost a week. Feel, these are rock hard. <laughs> Let me feel. I'm serious. I'll feel it for you guys, guys. Oh, that, that is pretty hard. Just in three days, huh? No, five. What is that? Some genetics or what? Arab. Or you on some? You on some special stuff? Some Arab genetics. Arabic genetics. When you drink, eat hummus every day. Hummus. Yep, and you fart a lot. I'm about to be farting in this gym. Oh, shoot. Say hello to the new members of the family. We don't have names for them yet, but this is a male Pomeranian. There's a female. Hi! They're kind of timid right now. Um, we just got them just a few days ago, actually. And, uh, let me unzoom that. There we go. Um, we just got them a few days ago, and... They're getting used to us still. They're still, you know, a little timid. The male is a little bit more excited, and he's he's easier to, to mess with. He could get a little aggressive though because he's a little scared. Um, 
especially when a big guy like me walks up. <laughs> but the female, she's very timid, so we're gonna have to work with them. Um, luckily, my dad's very experienced with uh, with training dogs and stuff, so eventually they'll be they'll be good and they'll be able to walk around the house and it, it'll be fine. What's up, guys? About to go train back and buys. I'm at one of the new gyms I've been going to. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can show you. Um, YMCA right there, over here in HB. Uh, about to get it in right now. Done with the workout. I got my Anybody friends here. Working. Got Monet and uh, Sam right here. The, they have a great inspirational Instagram page. You gotta check it out. Not as good All as right? Alex's, but no, it's it's pretty. It's up there. It's better. Than Instagram worthy for sure. My Instagram is, is weak, but what is it? Monet.sam.fitness. Notice so, the Monet first. Yeah, Monet. I'm just, I'm She's <laughs> she 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 handles the squad. You know what I mean? So. Let's go. <laughs> anyway, check them out. They put really inspirational stuff out there. And uh, I'm gonna finish this workout, and I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. We're feeding the beast, and it's hungry. It needs its protein. <laughs> 
Uh, good workout today, guys. Just uh, putting gas in my car. I'm about to go to the grocery store, pick up uh, some food because I'm out on some things. Cook some food when I get home, eat, and then get ready for tonight. We're gonna go see Fast and Furious, and then um, hang out with my friends. Uh, Michael and his girlfriend, I think, and uh, some of her friends. So yeah, it'll be a fun night tonight. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Probably can't even see me. Um, changing plans. We're not seeing the Fast and the Furious. I am very disappointed, but that's okay. We could watch it another time. I'm uh, walking right now to my buddy Michael's house. We're gonna uh, help him put, a, put together some of the patio furniture that him and his girl just got and uh, chill out in the new patio set. The new, uh, the new setup, so we're just gonna uh, hang out, talk and hang out and just uh, have a good time. And that's it, so. All right guys, so I'm eating my second to last meal, which you know what it is. It's a uh, chicken heart. And I'm gonna go see if Michael wants to take a bite. I'm gonna tell him it's beef or something, so. Cause I know he won't eat it if I tell him what it is, so we'll see, I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> any, any, anything you gotta say? Michael, you're gonna laugh when you see this shit. <laughs> All right, let's go get him. So this is the this is the patio that Michael has been working so hard on. Got the lights right here. We're talking about how fat isn't the leading cause of heart disease and cancer. It's actually what is it, Michael? Processed sugar. Processed sugar right there. Okay. Hey, what do you think about my food, by the way? It's bomb. It's bomb. You know what this is? Looks like little, little rabbit juices. <laughs> it's chicken heart. It's good. It's good, huh? Yeah. He, he likes. He's a real I'm man right here. Up right now. Real. <laughs> You're about to what? I'm about to throw up right now. I just figured that shit out. But it's okay. Smooth. <laughs> it's good though, huh? Cheap. Yeah. A dollar and a half for a dollar and a half got me. That shit's pretty good. Look, he's having another one, guys. Look at him, dude. Look at him, dude. Let's go. So yeah, dude. Sugar is sugar is yeah. pretty bad though. Third most addictive thing in the world, and then like you're saying, it's causing all these illnesses. Yeah. But it works for everybody because then the the drug company gets their gets their fair share, yeah. is able to prescribe all these drugs. Yeah. You know, the the food company are able to keep on making their food and keep on getting us addicted to whatever it is we're eating. And then you know the doctors get to get paid and get their money because they're able to treat us and prescribe their drugs. Yeah. You know, everyone has a job, everyone has a good life, except the consumer, which is which is true. You know.